In this Photoshop design tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do a simple vegetable logo in Photoshop. So hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Retard Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a simple cartoon logo in Photoshop and our main name for this is Fruit and Veg, have the healthy choice. So again, something very simple with a few fonts. Now as well, if you have anything that you want to see on this channel, please send us some requests in the comment box down below or send us an email again to this address. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop, as you guys can see, as with the last tutorials as well, first of all, we're gonna talk just about the background and then also the logo on top. Now, if you're new to this channel, please have a look again on the channel, are more tutorials where we talk in depth just about logos and in the recent tutorials, also a little bit about the background. Now, also, if you wanna find more about these backgrounds, please have a look in the description down below. You can download everything for free from my website here. Just follow the link in the description. Okay guys, so as you guys can see again, the first uh, layer here is again a black layer in order for me again to showcase the white logo that's on top, fruit and veg, a little bit brighter and just shining through a little bit. Great, then the first image that I took in here is just basically a background from some food elements and then I added a slight blur on top of that. Now I'm gonna not going to go through every single step of this background um, adjustments here, but I'm showing you guys quickly what I did. So with the current layer, I went to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I gave this like a little blur of 2.6 and said okay. Great, so that's just blurring a little bit. So the logo's attention is going a little bit more on the text and not so much onto the background. Okay, then the next step that I did here is again a adjustment layer in order just to darken this. Also, let's have a look here. Again, what I also did is with this food background layer, I just took down the opacity slightly from this. So something to 35, uh, sorry, 53% here. So the black is also shining through again. Let's go back to the normal. So this is what it actually looks like. And again, I took down the set, uh, the brightness quite a lot, the opacity here. Okay, so you guys can see this is shining through a little bit. Then the second layer was again to do a little bit of a vignetting effect. I showed this also in the last tutorial. It's very simple with a marking tool. With the elliptic marking tool, you'll create a little selection. You go to select, modify, feather that, 250 pixels, say OK, soften it and create a little curves adjustment layer on top of that. So if you want to know more about this, have a look in the last tutorial. I'll also link it here in the video. Now, you guys can see here in the properties from my uh, adjustments, you can see here's the curve and I just took down the blacks slightly in order to darken this. Then for the second step, I inverted this whole technique, the layer, and created a little bit of a spot in the center and, and also took down um, the darkened parts here from the curve and pushed up the highlights. Okay, so that you guys see it in the middle. And then the last layer here was just to flatten the blacks a little bit. As you guys can see, another curves adjustment layer here. I kept on the anchor points with the highlights, the mid-tones and the dark tones here. I push up these a little bit slightly. I don't want to go too far, but somewhere over here and just the output to 27 and input to zero if you want to replicate it like that. Just to flatten those blacks a little bit. Great, so that was basically all I did for the background. Remember, you guys can also find a link again in the description down below to download this image. Okay, so let's start right away with the logo. First of all, I'm gonna start out just with the main text. So this is again the company name or whatever name you have. And that was now for me fruit and veg. And I'm also gonna type this uh, capital letter in the beginning and then obviously small letters in the end. Sometimes I do capital letters with everything. But fruit and veg, that was the first name. Now what I'm gonna do start out with is trying to find the font. Okay, so with the design, first of all, I'm gonna start out right away just with the text. So I'm gonna make a big selection here and also going to start now with the name. So mine is fruit and veg. Also what I do is I type it with small letters and capital letters in the beginning. So veg, obviously big, fruit, big. Uh, normally I type it all in capital letters, depends on what type of logo I'm creating. So fruit and veg, there we go. We have the right font already selected. It's called Retro Fitted. You guys can also find that again in the description down below. I've linked it there for you guys. Then as well, I also wanted to go with the side around 70 
so that's also fine. And let's go over to the character box because I want to work a little bit on the tracking. So over here, it's minus 40. I want to test this a little bit, minus 80. Let's go with like a minus 20. Yeah, I'll do like minus 40 actually a bit more just to give that a bit more space. Also, if you guys don't have this character box, please go to window and select the character box over here. This will pop up. Or if you're completely new to this, have a look at our 101 playlist on the channel. I'm teaching a lot of stuff there in the 101 how to playlist. Okay, great. So fruit veg should go somewhere in the center. I'm going to first of all press T on the keyboard in order to get into the text tool again. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. It's the same with this as well. Now, I'm going to make a small selection again and just write a and sign here. Okay, and it's way too big. You guys can't see it. So I have to make this nice and small. There we go. You guys can see it also very small. And also the font is white here. If you guys want to change this as well, head over here to the top. I guess you know about that already. Now, I'm going to make this a bit smaller. Hit accept, take the move tool and literally just move that here into the center of the logo. So it's fruit and veg. So a little and sign there just to and compensate that. If you want to, you can also put it here in the center right and big. I wanted to keep it nice and small there. Okay, then I'm gonna go over to view. I'm gonna go to new guide and first of all create a horizontal 50% guide again. Say okay over here, view again. New guide again, vertical this time, again 50% and hit OK. Like I said before, if you're new to this, please have a look on the channel. I'm teaching way more about all the beginner stuff there. Great, so move this slightly into the center here. Very simple, this is already my main text for the logo. And then as well, lastly, what I'm gonna do is back to text tool again, make a nice big selection here. And now I'm gonna write a little bit of the slogan or a little uh, salesy text that you wanna put with this. This I'll write now in big capital letters. So I want to write here um, the healthy choice. Okay, and I typed it out. You guys can see it at the moment because it's obviously too big. So first of all, I'm going to select the right font. This will be again healthy to Kanoia. Um, you guys can also find that down below in the description in case you're searching for it. Okay, and the size should maybe be medium this time. And I'm going to make it a bit smaller so you guys can firstly see it. So it's called the healthy choice. And as you guys can see, the tracking is still off, the size is still off, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it as this thick, um, if it should be that thick, the font. Let's select it again. I wanna first of all go out with like just the light. Okay, check that. And then also the size, I wanna take it down to eight, seven, yep, even seven, I guess. Okay, and the tracking should be all the way up. So something like a thousand or something. Let's have a look for that. Thousand and a hundred. Let's do that. It's also here under the tracking in the character box again. Okay, that should obviously be a thousand and a hundred. Okay, let's select the move tool again. And I'm literally just going to move it over here. And I can see I'm, I can still track this a little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to double click here onto the slogan, healthy choice day. And going to push the tracking a bit further till the E here is almost to the end. I, okay, and yeah, place it something like that. Now, one last thing that I'm going to do is just zoom out a little bit. And obviously, if it gets smaller, you can't really see the healthy choice because it's written in thin. So I'm going to go in a bit, select the text tool, and as well going to select all of it over here and just switch this from light to medium like I had before. Great, also maybe the character just down a little bit, something like 1080. Yep, can be actually a little bit more. 1180, let's go with 160. Okay, and this is totally up to you. I'm doing this quite quickly, so take a bit more time when you guys do this. Okay, that's basically it, I'm gonna zoom out go to view and clear the guides over here so I can just see this a little bit better from further away. So I normally do this really nice and small, try to get a feeling if it's leaning a little bit to the left or right. Like at the moment, it looks a bit more heavier to the left. So I'm going to select all these three layers here and just literally move them over just a little bit with my cursors. Okay, lastly, select all these three layers, hold shift on the keyboard in order to select them again, obviously. And then what I'm going to do is also uh, make a group out of this. So again, Command-G on my keyboard, and I can write here 
logo to so I can show you guys the before and after if you're a Windows person please press control when I say command so for you it's control G okay there we go this is our logo and this is what I've created before so again our and the before but it comes it's very similar almost so as you guys can see quick and easy logo here yeah so that's basically it guys a super quick logo in Photoshop and it's not too complicated if you enjoyed this content don't forget to hit me up with a thumbs up share subscribe and don't forget Photoshop is for anyone so yeah thanks again for watching guys I'll catch you all in the next tutorial and if you want to see some more tutorials just check on my left or again on my right there are a ton of more tutorials on the channel where you can learn everything about the design stuff here. So yeah, and if you're completely new, check down below. There's another 101 playlist for beginners and as well another big course. So yeah, click now.